own land and have your own kids on your own property and you have your own people come give birth to them. You, you don't have to go to no hospital and tell people you had a baby. You don't have to do that. Oh, look, I just had a baby in my own house on my own property here. Can you um give it a social security number and brand it? No, you don't have to. That's what's wrong with y'all. Y'all keep branding y'all babies. It's like we are Nazis. We are all Nazis. Ah! I mean, not Nazis. Jews. I think I'm not going to take this baby. If I get a baby, if I'm pregnant right now, I'm not going to take this baby to the hospital. I'm literally going to give birth to it by myself. And just have it. I wonder why people be having their babies and throwing it in a trash can when it's born and then they go to jail. It's not even... I don't think they can put nobody in jail for that. Because that's not even nobody's baby. Like, they don't even own it yet. I gotta go to the store. It's a, it's a, y'all know I talked to Greedy Boy yesterday? Y'all know I, I talked to Greedy Boy yesterday. I sent him some cash app. So I sent um Greedy Boy some cash app and I sent um Bees a cash app. Yes. Greedy made uh yes, he was uh live yesterday. And um Striker sent him fifty dollars. He made about two hundred dollars yesterday. Can I get a... No, you can't get a cash app. You have to get you a job, bitch. Why you don't have a job? Get your ass a job. You just, you saying something? Oh, yeah, I heard him say gap. Guess what? Um, He's coming home around October, um, Halloween. Yeah, bees are locked up, too. Nature Boy is locked up. Um, Money Man is locked up. Nature Boy, I mean, Money Man and Greedy are in the same jails. They be uh in the same jail. Money Man have a cleaning job in the jail. Greedy Boy said he wants to start working in the jail, too, and get him a job. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Mm hmm <laughs> I don't know if they got to buy. Thank you. Uh-uh. Oh, God. I said fair grandma was locked up. They all locked up. Bitch, your housekeeping better not lock on here. I don't want nobody keeping nothing from my house. Please don't knock on here. Keep a shit. I gotta get to the store. My best friend should be on his way. If he don't be on his way, can y'all send me some cash app? Can everybody send me some cash app? Everybody send me cash app, please. Come on, y'all. Nobody's asking for nothing. Please. I'm not asking for nothing. Please. It's at the top of the screen. Best friend, you still in here? You on your way? You should be on your way by now. I don't got time to be waiting for you. I'm trying to turn up. You want me to say you a shot? Let me get you a shot of. Shot of. Testiasium. I should make an LGBTQ of liquor. A LGBTQ line of liquor in there. I'm going to have one called Testiasium. 
it's gonna make you like turn into like the hawk. It's gonna be that real good shit that gets you turned. And then I'm gonna have one called Estriashim. And it's gonna make you like chill, lay back. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be like a a mix of like probably some weed or something in there. Weed compound with alcohol to make you chill and get drunk. How much is admin? Um twenty I'm making fifty dollars today. I'm making fifty dollars today. Fifty dollars for it me. That thing be jiggling, 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 jiggling. Don't knock on this door, housekeeping, Roselda. She better knock on this door. Did y'all see my feet? On my my hands and my feet combo. Show y'all my hands and my feet combo. Is that cute? He don't like me. <laughs> well, how you be walking around? Come on, I don't like feet, sorry. My feet probably ugly as hell. She rocking that thing like ooh. She rocking that thing like ooh. Did y'all send me some money so I'm going to the store? I got to make my $20 back there. I'm just about to spend. Oh, I didn't make it back already. Thank you. I spent that money. Got it right, back. I spent that money. Got it right, back. Thank you. Mrs. Foxy sent me another dollar. Yeah. Mrs. Busy Berlinda sent me $15. Thank you, Miss Nunu and her mama. Miss Nunu and her mama sent us a lot of money, like, they sent me fifteen dollars right now. She sent fifteen dollars. Miss Nuno sent me thirty dollars last night at eleven thirty. I wasn't even online. Miss Berlinda sent uh ten fifteen dollars ten at ten fifty one. Then Miss Nuno sent twenty more dollars at ten. Uh uh, baby, they be sending money every day. They sent ten fifty. Then Miss Yolanda came through and sent me a dollar. Thank you. Yeah, I already made my 20 right back. And I'm about to go spend it and come right back. Do my shit. Do my shit. Hey, do my shit. Do my shit. Hey. It's 10 o'clock. I am one hour, nine minutes late to the liquor store. One hour, nine minutes late. It's in my phone on 13%. I just had it on the charger. Oh, just come on, y'all. All right, turn the Wi-Fi off. Disconnected. I turned the Wi-Fi off. Is the signal good? Um, no, I don't need a new charger. You just need to hurry up and listen to the story before I can put it back on the charger. Oh, it's so nice outside. Look at me. I'm so cute. Wait, where's my light in it? Mm -mm, can y'all see me? Hold on, baby. Hold on, baby. Oh, now you can see me. What's wrong with this phone? Why don't you give me an iPhone? Whew. 
Why you follow me? Oh, you talking about the stanky man? Oh. I don't see him. Thank you. Oh, Shay, what are you doing? Where's my car? Oh, it's at the dealership right now. Best friend, did you just text me? No, the man that we interviewing, he interview crackheads. I'm not a crackhead. So hell, she's he speaking. We need to be talking about hello to him back bitch when I walk in here. What should I get? Some water? Y'all like this water? I'm The total is twenty three seventy seven. Oh, okay. I think I don't know. What you got? The water? No. I don't. Yeah, I'm about to get that. That's you. Okay. Okay. Bye. Thank you. They don't have chips in here, sweetie. Oh, I forgot to get a Dutch. All right. Thank you. Love you. He always tell me to pay for stuff next time, and he never make you make me pay. <laughs> Uh, I'm about to go back to my room and talk about people. Mm. You be trying to get me out of there? No, you don't. You love when I come near and spend my money. Spend my money. I don't see that stinky man out here. He is not out here today. You see. Ooh, somebody got the ass out right there. Is that his booty? Is that his ass or no? I see. I need to get me something to eat. Brian, uh -uh, I want to go see if it's his ass. Go touch it. Girl, shut up. Oh, they got a man with the buggy. They got a buggy man. Let's go see what he got in his buggy today. Buggy man. Bu buggy man. Buggy man. Hey, what's in there? What you got in there? Huh? Oh. Buggy man. Bu bu Buggy me. Buggy me. me. Hello. Can I get let in the hotel? Hello.
Pergi mi. I don't have no money to give him. The hell, he collecting all that goddamn metal. He should have money his goddamn self. He gonna take all them grocery carts and um scrap them down. Take them to the to the scrap shop. Better get him a, a lighter and start burning. Baby, y'all got shit for him. Let me let me have been homeless, girls and gentlemen. I am one. Ooh, it's free stuff. Ooh, some free stuff. Oh, how you doing? Oh, she scared me. It was the housekeeper lady. I was about to give some free stuff. Ooh. Ooh. I was about to get some free stuff. Ladies, don't get no free stuff. Now let me put this on the charger. Now, let's see. I got to get everything settled in, get my water out, get this out of here, and throw this trash away, and throw this away, and throw this away. Uh, this place was so nasty last night. Cool Malaka. Mm, mm. I don't know, this one. Oh, Korean fried chicken? Oh, I ain't mean to order Korean fried chicken. This just tastes like booty. And they put onions on top of the macaroni, bitch. Mm -mm. This is so nasty. Don't ever eat this Korean fried chicken, baby. I didn't even get to eat dinner last night because they brought me that nasty shit. Now, baby, 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 no, it's not good. I just said that was good. Dispute the charges. Brian got to do it on his phone. I think he ordered it for me. Oh my gosh, y'all. I need to really talk to y'all about some stuff. Like some personal stuff. Can everybody please clear my life? I need to talk to my supporters. Can y'all get on my live, please? Um, unless you're a supporter. This is not liquor. This is courage. Now, I need to really speak because, oh, did everybody clear my life that don't like me? Did everybody get out of my life that don't like me? Get out. Get out, I have to talk to somebody about some personal stuff, my supporters. No, okay, supporters. Um, There's some stuff that's going on. Like, I don't know what it is. I don't know if I got drunk, too drunk and fucked somebody. But it's almost next month, and I have not come on my period. And my titties are getting bigger. They not saggy like they was. They, I've been noticing they've been getting bigger. I think I'm going to go to the doctor today. The emergency room. I don't know who would be the daddy. I would have to literally go and ask the front desk for camera footage to see who I was fucking.
If you drink and the baby is gone. Oh, yay! Okay. I still need to go to the doctor and make sure so my period can come. Because I still need to... I didn't know that. I didn't know if he was drinking and the baby be gone. I'm not stressed out. How many days? What day do I be coming to my period, y'all? It usually be like the... What's the main date? It probably be like uh, the... Um, it'd be different. It'd be different. Yeah, it'd be like the... Yeah, but like if the middle date. It'd be like the 24th. I just said I didn't I didn't have no period. We not worried about Florida. What's going on with Florida, bitch? I'm worried about myself. The hell are y'all worried? What's going on in Florida, bitch? A hurricane? Don't y'all have them every day? Get your ass out of Florida. I always tell my pray for me, pray for me. Get your ass up out of there, bitch. Stupid. Damn. I'm gonna sit here and keep praying for you. You don't I'm doing something right now. The hell? That's like going and moving to California and then you start sinking underwater and you're like, ah, I can't swim. They told you 50 years ago it's going to sink. Get your ass up out of there. Cold hearty. Girl, I'm, I'm doing something right now. I'm talking to my supporters. That's why I said, if you don't like me, get out of here right now because I need to just talk about to my supporters about me. I'm going through something right now. Personnel, about my period. It have not even started this month. And here y'all come in here with this hurricane stuff. It may be late. Now, what is the definition of burning? Does that mean your coochie itch? It's hot. When you pee. Okay, when you pee. Okay, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, because my coochie have itched. When I was in the shower earlier, it was itching. But it was not burning. A yeast infection is white, like a um like some wet bread or something. I don't have that. Did you shave? Mm -mm, I use near. All right, now, everybody worry about their own coochies. Everybody worry about their own coochies, because you know you're saying BBABV, ABB. I don't know what that is. Now y'all just making up some shit. It could be dirt. Just leave it alone. Just let's just end with dirt. Twenty one. What you want to eat? You don't have no eat eat money, boy. Get your ass here. You over here worried about what you about to eat and your ass don't have no money yet. You ain't made a dime. No, what I want to eat is it's going to acquire to the money that we make. No, you don't, boy. Hey, white boy, my, you got any beans? I sent you, what, 200 maces yesterday? Send my shit back right the fuck now, boy. Hey, come in with a gift. I come in the gift first and then I speak. Gift. Stop being rude. My motherfucking 200 maces for I beat your ass. Oh, wow. Thank you. I didn't ask.
ask for that. I didn't ask that. You know you're not getting all of that back, right? I'm not giving that back. I said 200 Macy's. This who want to show out. Nobody asked you to come through and show out. That was 200. Oh, okay. Broke ass. Broke ass. $200 gift. 200 being gift. Little boy. Yes, little boy. You want me to call you little girl? A big bobble head and a small little torso. Some short midget legs, boy. Can somebody please? Can somebody, my, you got $20 so I can pay for my hotel room? I need somebody to send me cash up so I can pay for my hotel room. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Y'all ready? Let me see. Let me see if y'all ready. Put your hands in the air. Put your hands up in the air. Put your hands in the air, put your hands up in the air. Are y'all ready to get the live started? Is my best friend almost here? Why he's in there? Brian, can you get a pregnancy test? I don't want no pregnancy test. No, don't give me no pregnancy test, babes. No, babes. No. I'm trying to get my hotel room paid. My big old check will be here Friday, so, y'all. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying to get my room paid for today. What's today? Wednesday? Oh, my big old check will be here Thursday. It should be here Friday. It only take about four days. I cashed it out yesterday or the day before that. I think yesterday. Yeah. Why would you take the test? Because I've been drunk and I think I got fucked. Can you give me 20? No. No. Hey, Bucky Man. <laughs> it's, it's Buggy Man, baby. Is that Buggy Man for real? Oh, that ain't no Buggy Man. I won't be sending beans out like that so I can cash my monies out. I can cash out every seven days if I got money in my account. I don't got to wait for no check to hit. My check not coming till next month. I'm just cashing out my beans that I got. Get an IUD? No, I'm not sticking nothing up my motherfucking coochie that can get lost up there. Save your money, you can cash out. What are you talking about? I just said that. Thank you, Miss Monica, for my five dollars. Can everybody please send me something? Now, okay, so let me know. Let me know. How do y'all feel about this? How do y'all feel about dementia? Said she was turning over, which I'm talking about Demi, my ex. How do y'all feel about her going to church and crying in that lady arms? And I knew it was all for Bigo. How do y'all feel about all that shit being for Bigo? And now she's back over here talking about me and my kids and shit. Was she just at church trying to get rejuvenated and she didn't want no toxic energy? Don't y'all remember she was just at church on live? Saying she wasn't going to do that no more. She was in the car crying. Saying I'm not about to, I'm not about to do that no more. I'm not about to drag her. I should have never wished death on her. Cause she is a, yeah, she is sick. It's not even nothing to do with fake. They don't got nothing to do with being fake. She's mentally ill. Demi is mentally ill. I don't want that girl back. Stupid. I don't want that fucking girl back. All I need is Brianna to go get this, uh, get, I told him tomorrow. Well, I actually told him we was going to do it today, but we're going to do it tomorrow or whatever. And get tell him we're about to go do this shit and just put the down deposit down. I don't care about Demi. I don't care. She do have a mental illness. Her mom's schizophrenic and bipolar. She has it too. I'm so happy that Pastor P dragged her. He, he, I'm, I'm happy he did that. 
That's what she deserved. That's what she deserved. She not nobody on this app. She always, and then you did a free interview yesterday. And you're not mental, make it make sense. No, I'm not mentally ill. I get on here and I do shit and I get drunk and I do what I want for my money. But I don't, behind the scenes, girl, I'm chill. I'm calm, bitch. I'm sane. I'm not going and messing with people, trying to ruin their fucking life, calling their family members, going and messing with my exes that said they done, that I stole $10,000 from just to make people mad, going and doing shit, trying to make people mad. That I done pillow talk to, she done pillow talk to everybody. Everybody that she talked about on this app, she done tried to link up with or be cool with them on the internet. Leah, everybody. Like, no. Just fuck the girl is mentally ill. She do shit that shows she's crazy. I'm gonna call my mama alive. The hell? That shit weird too. I ain't never met my mama in her life. We not together. What you calling my mama? You don't see me calling your mama. I clearly got Demi old cell phone over here. You talking to me, ma'am? Let me help you out. You paid your 10 beans to uh, get a, a badge, bitch, but you're not staying. You don't have no beans since. I don't know why she said Demi. Why she said little man was two years old. Little man was born in 2018. Hey, Cash Boo. Little man was born in April 2018. I mean, not April. Egglet was born in April, May. May, yeah, May. My mama birthday. He was born one day before my mama birthday. And my other son was born on my sister birthday. My uh, daughter was born on my brother birthday. She didn't do nothing for me at all. Nothing. Nothing at all. Some iron fist and beat that bitch ass. I don't know why she was speaking to my kids. She just really wanted some attention. She wanted to do a free interview. She did a free interview with a bitch that she was talking about. Remember when I stuck my booty, uh, my um, that earring, Tommy K earring um, up my booty? That whole night, she was dragging her. All she used to do was talk about people, especially when we wasn't online. My daughter didn't get touched. Why you say my daughter got touched? Boy, move your weird ass on. Who got $4 I could borrow? I don't know. Madam Lowe, the one who came and picked it up and didn't get it washed. Madam Lowe had my booty juices all on her hand from stinging at that, my ass. Good morning, 21. Good morning. Okay, so I'm not going to troll you this morning, but I do want to say this. I think when people interview people that you connected to, I think the first thing they want to ask them is about your kids. Now, I'm not going to say she wasn't wrong for bringing up your kids, but she did say, like, I don't want to talk about her kids. So I think you have to be just as mad as the person that's doing the interview, because why would you want to even ask somebody the about that was doing the interview? I never had sex with Tommy K. I don't have... No, no, I'm saying like you saying Demi talked about your kids, which she did, but I'm saying like why would Tommy K keep asking questions about your kids? Like 
because she's a pop chaser, an old ass woman. If anything, Demi should have did the interview, and she didn't even get paid for it. She just did a free interview to talk about my kids and talk about my family and weird shit, bitch. For what? You just did a free interview because you wanted clout and attention. You didn't get paid for nothing that you did. I think Demi was trying to clout chase in another way. I think she just wanted to bring up old shit and bring up shit that she did and all of this stuff. She like didn't do that I for said me. in the interview, what did she possibly do for? Like you? I said, I watched the interview. Well, she said that she paid for some stuff. Now, twenty one, like she did admit that, like when it came to hotel rooms and shit, like you spent a lot of money. But she was like, when we went out to eat, she was like, I did. You know, pay for stuff. So I feel like she. You really paid for didn't some of the stuff, to... but the meals that I was eating, she Demi like Chick Fil A and stuff. Demi's cool with eating noodles and stuff. I'm not cool with eating that type of stuff. Like I don't, I don't eat, I don't eat all the type of shit that they be eating. Like, and look, I'm not a fan of Demi. I don't know Demi, and I'm not taking up for her. But she, you know, she did say that. You know, she. she I feel like she wasn't trying to just bash you, even though the shit well, that she did and said was wrong. When people talk, I think me. you should be mad. I think you should be mad at the motherfucking interviewers just as well for asking, bringing up your kids all the time because some stuff you just shouldn't talk about. Like, I just feel like the kids and First where your time, kids said and K how they being taken. When Tommy K being as old as she is, she shouldn't be talking about nobody kids. She should be trying to uplift people because she ugly as hell. And with Demi talking, she don't even have no kids to talk about. And she know that her mama didn't take care of her. But she always giving excuses on why her mama didn't take care of her. Your mama's mentally ill, and now you got to pass down to you, bitch. Well, I feel like these people that do interviews, they only feel like they going to get good. You know, the only way they're going to keep their viewers in the room is if they bringing up dark shit. And I feel like you shouldn't have to, like, bring up dark shit about people's kids because I know plenty of people who don't have their kids, don't raise their own kids, and their kids is taken care of. Like, I mean... I think that what I think about you and your kids, like, I feel like I'm not going to go there because nobody knows what you go through with your kids being away from you. And I feel like some shit you just shouldn't touch. Like, it's plenty of shit I can say about you based off of me seeing you on here. And I don't even have to bring up your kids. Like, exactly. it's a lot of shit that you it's a lot of shit that you can bring up that 21 do that doesn't involve her kids. And believe it or not, your kids probably taken care of better than a lot of people who got their kids. But let me get down. I just wanted to say that, like, these people that's doing these interviews, they need to stop even mentioning your kids. But you have a good day. Thank you. Next. Anyways, um, I'm not saying I was just mad at uh, Demi, but Demi is the main problem on this app to keep on bring talking about my kids. Like she know them. Do, she did an interview like she knew anything that went on with me, my kids, or anything. Demi didn't even really know me like that. We never have no conversations about my past life or nothing, nothing like that. Only thing she knows is from what she would hear from y'all. I never sit down and had no deep conversations with Demi. Like never. We used to fuck. We used to talk about money, ways to get money, our YouTube channel. We never was talking about that type of shit. Like, never. No, I do be talking about the bitch. I got a right to talk about the bitch. The bitch messed up my life. I didn't do nothing but uplift the bitch in her life because, like, I like I, I literally be telling y'all the truth. The bitch didn't have nowhere to stay. Demi has never had no place of her own. Her first house was her first place. This That was my fourth place. She came to Detroit, moved me about my place, moved me to Atlanta, left me there the first time. Then I went back home, came back and got me. Then ruined my life by more by talking about me, dragging me, acting like she really knew me, always trying to get me um, put in jail, calling the police on me. She brung me down. Not only did she try to take my support away when we was together, she kept calling the police on me, trying to um, go live when I was locked up, talking about me to get my support base. She, I left me with nowhere to stay. I don't, I randomly put a fucking PPO on me and now while I was in jail 
And then I didn't have nowhere to get, I couldn't even get my shit. I can't even, I still don't have my shit from her house. I helped her life. She was going couch to couch, living with family members and friends and big old people. She just now got a place to stay because of me, because of my comment section trolling her not about not having no place to stay. That's all she wanted. She ruined my life and then tried to get her shit to her life together um, and act like she was just this big ass boss when she had all this time to save money because I was spending all the money on her and acting like I acting like she was doing everything. Just so she would keep doing shit, like, as far as, like, putting houses in her name and I can get my kids there and all that type of shit, which never happened. If anything, Breon helped me way more than Demi, because all Demi kept doing was stressing me out. That's why I was drinking so, so much while I always drunk. I literally would go, I literally was always drunk, just couldn't even chill out around her, because she was always complaining about shit. She just complained, nag, 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 nag about everything. Every little thing. It don't matter if somebody messaged her and said, I showed my pussy. Now it's all hell. Now we arguing for 12 hours. Now she about to go back to Texas. 21. Oh, you show, you show uh, this. Now you about to go. Like every time it was, I got to go, I got to go, I got to go. Pay the bills by yourself. Pay the rent by yourself. Now I'm stressed out. Now I'm going to drink more. Like she was just so, she's never happy. She's never happy with her life. I don't think Demi is really a lesbian. I think she just want to dress like a, I think she's sort of like a, Brian, well, I don't know, like a low sort of. Like, she want to just dress, but she still want to fuck what she's supposed to fuck. I feel like that's the case because she's so unhappy with her life, so unhappy with herself. And I have to keep thinking about it. Why does she be so attracted to trannies? Because they actually are men. So I feel like she do want to get fucked with dick, but she just been portraying to be a lesbian that she is unhappy with her life and everybody that come in her life she can't stay with them she done went with christian well then left and went with that other girl on youtube then went back to christian then left again then came to me then left me again cheated well didn't cheat but was sleeping around with christian then came back to me and she's confused she's not happy she don't know what she want to do in life she always want more than what she can uh, um even afford like, the only reason she got that big-ass house is because the comments kept messing with us. She couldn't really even afford it. Not only on her own. She told y'all she could afford it on her own, but she can't. Now she got to go back and mess around with Christian to keep some shit. But that's why she was harassing me about rent money. But the girl always, even when we first got into the house, it was like five bedrooms, four bathrooms, basement, upstairs. Out. She was like, oh, I want something bigger. I want a 12-bedroom now. We got to up level. We got to do this now. We got to do this now. We got to we gotta level up. We got to level up. We can't be comfortable with this. I only want to be here for three months. And then I want to start renting it out. Airbnb in it. Having nurses in here. Having everybody in here. And yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to start doing some shit. Like she was never just comfortable with just living in. She, I'm just comfortable with living. Bitches never comfortable. They always feel like they got to prove something to somebody. And they never happy. They never be happy. Because they always study trying to prove something to the next bitch. And then they, that's not really what they want to do. So that's where that's where I, it was just so fucked up for me. Because all I like to do is just live comfortable. I can be comfortable and I can, you know what I'm saying? And then accumulate shit over time and still be comfortable and just add and add and add. Hurry up and try to get the house together. She was, you see how she was decorating the house? Like shit wasn't even like. Like, you supposed to get your, you get a house like that, you supposed to have gold on the wall. It don't have to be real, but I'm saying, like, some nice-ass furniture. She was just buying anything. She just wanted to hurry up, hurry up, fix the house up, fix the house, do this, do this, do this. Like, mm-mm, girl, you don't have to prove nothing that bad. Like, you got to just slowly build. You're not that, you're not even old yet. She just felt like she was probably going to die tomorrow. Like, go hurry up. Girl. Yes, this girl crazy. Mm hmm and it's it's so it's it was mentally draining for me mentally draining and it was physically demi would do shit like i started okay so one time i told demi this i said i told her my what my baby daddy used to do when i was on live like pour water on me follow me around the house and he would like be like oh you ugly your titty saggy or yeah i just say stuff about me and i told her the stuff that he would say about me and not only that but she would go watch my old youtube videos I will always go when I will log into her phone or she'll let me use it or anything. 
It was old videos. Of, it was like YouTube videos constantly in her history just of me. She used to just go you, you Google me, YouTube me all day. Me and my baby daddy are old fights. And so it got to a point to when we start arguing, she would start saying the same things that my da baby daddy would say to me just to make me mad. This girl was following me around the house. I would go into the bathroom. She would start banging on the doors about to break them. She would go get a knife and get in the room, get stuff and try to get into the room and get to me and just to harass me, just to yell at me, just yelling in my face. One time she really started putting her hands around my neck. I never put my hands on Demi. That one time I did chase her, she kept running, but I never put my hands on her. I never got to. Demi did choke me. She didn't choke me to like the point where my baby daddy choked me. She did. She used to try to do shit to me. And one time I had recorded it. And I recorded it on my other phone that got stolen. And do y'all know, I tried to, I think I did show it to y'all one time. Remember that time I was sitting in the kitchen? I think I showed it to y'all at Demi's uh, house that she had brought. That video of her screaming at me going crazy. She deleted that out that phone. And I didn't have it no more. I think when I had got locked up or something. The, when I went to the site, when she put me in that uh, mental institution for that 24-hour checkup little thing when the um, police was called or whoever called the police. That's when she deleted that video. I don't know if y'all remember that video. I gotta be on YouTube somewhere. But it was a video on the Android and she was screaming at me, going crazy. Like, this girl screams out her, like, this girl screams crazy, like, to the top of her lungs. Like, ah! She'd be like, she'd be like, you ruining my life! She used to literally convince me. Like, I would literally start crying. Like, sometimes I would, she would, like, scream at me. She would tell me, like, you a demon. She be like, everybody keep messaging me, telling me you're a demon, 21. You have demons and you have people. She be like, I don't know what's wrong with you, but all these trolls around with you are demons. She would convince me that the only reason that people was trolling me because it was a demon inside of me. And she would tell me this all the time, bro. And it was, I would literally be crying, bro. I'd be like, what the fuck? Like, how do I, how do I just got demons in me? Because people trolling me. Like, people are trolling me. Like, she would get crazy when people would message her. Like, everybody would just message her all at once. Like, every day is hundreds of messages on her cell phone because her number got leaked and on her big old account. And she would just sit there and read them all. She would read them, and I would say, block them, block them. But she would just literally sit there and read everyone. And they, it was trolls. It was not even real people. And she would be like, 21, you got demons in you. They're following you around. You're going to end up dead and stuff like this. And she would just, like, I, I'm woke, and I got the spirits in me, and I'm I'm... All this type of shit. And then it was just so crazy, y'all. She just thought she was so woke, so spiritual, and just was so, had God all around her. Like, God was just blessing her. You know what I'm saying? But she wasn't getting nothing. Like, well, obviously, she said she was losing, but I didn't lose. Like, the only thing I lost was that bitch in a place to stay. She was trying to bring me down, trying to stop my bad. I did love her. In the beginning, I did love her. But y'all see, I stopped going live when we got that house. I wasn't going live as much. Like, I would go live, like, later in the day. I wasn't waking up early to go live. Like, I was just chilling, cleaning up. I would clean up the house. I would cook her breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Like, she wanted me to pay the bills. She wanted me to cook and clean for her and fuck her. And she wanted to control me by telling me to stop drinking and what to do. And if I could have my kids there, but I was paying half of the rent. And she was just, everything I had to do control and I had to help out with the bills and utilities and with the foods and everything that we brought, I had to still pay that. But she still wouldn't control me. And I don't like to be controlled, but I was trying to be a little submissive because seeing that I didn't do that for my baby daddy and I wasn't giving him shit. And everybody kept saying, oh, you could have brought him a car. He could have did Uber, DoorDash and stuff. I was like, okay, let me start sharing this relationship. Let me start doing something. And I felt like everything was going to be good by me helping out and sharing and stuff. But no, she was taken from me. Yeah, I was a housewife, but I was paying the bills, too. And she wanted me to stop getting online so much. I couldn't even make my money like that, but she wanted me to help pay the bills. She wanted me to help keep paying all these bills, but she kept complaining when I would get on live. She told me, you being too loud. Why are you screaming? What, go in the basement and do your forex. Girl, it's three floors to the house, but you want to be right here next to the stairs or somewhere. Like, girl, go somewhere else. I make more money than her anyways because she really be gambling. Forex is really gambling. She was losing $2,000 a day. All this money she was losing. And then she would be mad because she couldn't afford to rent and wanted me to put in on her Forex. 21 trade. 21 just trade. 21 do this. You can stay off Beagle and trade. Bitch, I'm not about to lose all my money trading and gambling. Like the fuck? 
I just get on here and get my fucking bag and go about my day. I was making more money than her and it started to feel like a point where she was jealous. And I knew my baby daddy was jealous because I was making the money and I was getting all the attention. I was barely paying him no attention until we were fucking in the morning or at nighttime. But that's the same thing. It was Demi. I was like, I was getting so much attention. She wanted the views. We couldn't get on line at the same time because she wanted to have some views, some get some beans. I had to have people go over there and send her beans. I had to go live on her page or you know what I'm saying? Just like I do with Breon, but Breon not taking advantage of me with the with the live, like, he don't even want to go live like that, I have to make Breon go live, he don't even want to get cash out, but like, go get cash out, Breon, go do this, go do this, stop trying to line me, I literally have to be making him, but when I do tell him, I don't really make him, but when I do tell him to do it, and I have to sort of keep telling him, he'll go and get the cash out or go live, but, um, you know what I'm saying, get my money and shit, but like, he don't be just getting online all the time, just trying to overuse me, talk about me, downplay me, that time Breon was talking about me, I literally was texting him, telling people, I told him to go live, I was like, go live. Talk. I just wanted to laugh, and he was telling everybody I smell like a well exhibit and all that type of shit. I was texting him and telling him to do that. But Brian don't be sitting on this bitch talking about me when we get into it. Every time me and Bri Demi got into it, she ran to the live to talk about me. She she was doing interviews on me while I was still living with her. Like the crazy part is, she was talking about me through and, and her text messages to my fans and to my supporters and to my trolls. She was literally texting them back when they would text her. Brian don't even text these people back when I'm around him. Like, it'd be crazy. And it's like, don't y'all expect for somebody that stuck they, like, I'm not going to say, it, like, okay, it's the same. The lesbian sex, me having sex with a girl, and they putting a strap on inside of me, it's sort of the same as me fucking a man. Not just because, but our skin is touching. Like, we build a connection, we kissing, you know what I'm saying, when we having sex. So it's like, okay, the dick feel good. It's still a connection there. You still have ties with that person. So you still supposed to have some loyalty with that person when y'all separate. The bitch didn't have no loyalty towards me. Like, we was just having sex before I got locked up in jail and all this shit started. That day before, that same day, we was just having sex. So it's like, damn, she was talking about me while I was locked up. Didn't come and get me while I was locked up. Just was using me. Like, you supposed to have some type of loyalty towards somebody. How you leave somebody in jail that you just had sex with? Over a $300 bond. $300, y'all. That shit crazy. Like, I'm, I'm not about to let nobody sit in jail for $300. Unless I really hate they ass. Like, really, I mean, we was just having sex. But then you got to think about it. Every time we had sex, she would go live and say she hated it. Every time we would have sex and we got into it, she would go live and say she hated me, right? She would go live and, and really down me and talk about me and drag the fuck out of me, go to a different person's house or a different state, and then come back a week later and then be cool with me, right? So the whole time she was really doing the same shit, but still, when I expect to have some loyalty to somebody that's sticking their mouth in my coochie, they eyes in my booty hole, they motherfucking hands in my booty hole and coochie, I, I expect for somebody to have some type of loyalty towards me. That bitch ain't never helped me in a fight. Bitch, I helped you fight Charlie. You swung at Charlie first. I helped you fight Charlie. You ain't helped me when I was fighting all them grown men and Tommy K and shit. But you it was so quick to talk about their ass when we got back to the house. Talked about Trina B and why he touched me. Talked about Tommy K. Talked about everybody that was at the party. Kimmy and everybody. Dragged the fuck out of them. But now you so quick to line them now that we not cool. If I'm not cool with nobody, I'm not cool with nobody. I'm going to drag them all day. I don't give a fuck. Bitch, I'm not about to let you drag the person in front of me that I done fucked though. Me and Demi used to get into it. What, what I used to tell people that used to come in my box, get the fuck out of here. Me and Demi about to be, I used to, Demi used to let people in her box to drag me when we was together. Remember that? Demi used to let everybody in her box to drag the fuck out of me when we were living together. I would be like, get down. Don't talk about Demi. Bye. Bye. Only reason Demi started to do the kick everybody that talk about 21 is because she was tired of seeing my name and everybody asking questions. She, don't, she wasn't tired of people talking about me. She was tired of seeing my name. Because she knew that she knew what she wasn't getting no views unless everybody was talking about me. That's when her views started to drop. And she was getting 300, 200 views for the longest. 
Now she started mentioning me again. Now she started mentioning trying to get into drama again. After she said she didn't want no toxic energy and had to do what was best for her. Now she's getting a couple of views. Been money hungry. She leached off Christian. Then she tried to go to a YouTube, um, a YouTube celebrity, Brooke. And then left her ass. Then went back to Christian because she seen the money wasn't where it was at. Came to me. Seen I wasn't going to get her no money, but I was going to pay for shit. But I wasn't about to give her all my money. So then she went back to Christian. Now it's, I don't know what she doing. She over there talking about me still. Over there talking about me still for beans. Now she one of the bitches that she used to talk about. Talk, everybody, she used to always get on Leah. She used to talk about Leah all day for using me for views. Charlie, just talk about these people. Why they using you, 21? Why they talking about you, 21? Bitch, now you doing the same thing. The hell? She doing the exact same thing that everybody else was doing. I don't see how you... Where the loyalty? Where the loyalty? I see you. I see why... I see why... That's what I like. Pastor P and Miss White Connection. They they loyalty. They don't fuck their head kids. He got some loyalty towards her. He gonna take her out. He gonna take her to dinner. He gonna... Get her some money, and that's why she stay right there because they got loyalty. They're not even together, but it's some type of loyalty there. They don't fuck. <laughs> Say Miss White, stupid. They're not together. They probably just friends, and you know what I'm saying. They probably just friends, and he really do respect her, and she respect him. She probably sleeping with other men too. Who knows what she doing? I'm pretty sure she's not waiting around the past to pee. I don't think she that stupid. That girl got that girl about to be a nurse. I think she, I think she doing whatever she want to do. She just, they just real cool. Cause he took her on the trip, but either way, I'm just saying it's some type of loyalty there. You know what I'm saying? Either way, even if they, even if she is, I already know, she already knows what's going on with Pastor P. Miss White know that he did this, doing this, doing all type of shit on the internet. It's on the internet. He brung her to the internet. So I don't even think they in a relationship, but he still got some loyalty to respect her. He would never let nobody get on here and down talk her and keep them in her, keep them in, in his live. You know what I'm saying? He never gonna go do no interview on Miss White or nothing like that. It's the loyalty after you done fucked somebody. That's all I'm saying. Even if we do talk about each other, but bitch, you, you're not about to let me get my ass beat or nothing. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's some loyalty between the people that you fuck. The hell? I don't care how bad y'all done talked about each other. You don't let nobody else do it. Or you don't go and do no interview with nobody. Or, you know what I'm saying? Certain stuff you don't do. You letting people drag my kids. Really? You just sitting over there doing an interview with a person that was dragging my kids for hours and hours and hours. After you supposedly wanted to help me with my kids. You never wanted to help me. Thank you for about five dollars, Ms. Zoya. Can you uh send me somebody so I can pay for my hotel room? I just need uh probably like thirty more dollars. 